Welcome to Boss Automotive. 2018 Callaway Yukon Denali SC560 Drive Review. Because you drive one of the biggest SUVs on the planet doesn't mean it can't be charming. The GMC Yukon Denali is huge, the greatest thing General Motors makes since it escaped the train business in 2004. A major GMC has focal points, three columns of seats, mucho payload space and eminence in the carpool line at Montessori. However, that doesn't mean you need to surrender all expectation of execution. That is the reason there is a reseller's exchange. That is the reason there's Callaway. With the SC560, Callaway has done everything anybody could do to wrestle the enormous bruiser GMC Yukon Denali into the energetic SUV classification. Most any SUV that tries to be lively is a ton littler and lighter, the Porsche Cayenne, BMW X5, Audi Q7, and so forth. The way that Callaway is notwithstanding attempting to influence this huge gas guzzler to perform is exemplary. That it has generally succeeded is noteworthy. Out of the GMC processing plant, a stock 4x4 Yukon Denali smashes the blacktop with 5,743 pounds and can undoubtedly choice itself near 3 tons. Include a driver and a panic PR fellow and you are over the legendary 3-ton hustling limit. That is a huge amount of weight. 3 tons, really. Motivating it to move with any energetic promptness, not to mention inspiring it to corner and stop, is a designing accomplishment. Anybody could make a little, lightweight games auto perform. The genuine test is influencing a moving apartment suite to like the sit up and bark like the puppy it knows it is. Callaway can do the greater part of the above and even influence it to appear as though it should be that way. As a matter of first importance is Callaway's three-way supercharger. It's fundamentally the same as the superchargers you've seen Callaway put on every one of the 6.2-liter V8 motors like this from Chevy, Cadillac and GMC. That incorporates Corvette and Camaro, coincidentally. The reduced blower and three intercoolers sits in the valley of the V over the V8 motor. Charged air from the rotor pack goes up through the essential intercooler at that point down through two more intercoolers, one on each side of the unit, and thus into each bank of barrels, where it makes the huge bruiser sound at the moon. The outcome is 560 horsepower and 553 pounds to foot of to work at the flywheel. I just had the Yukon Denali SC560 for a concise one hour drive and never planned a dispatch, however distributed figures for a Callaway SC560 Escalade, which is basically a similar motor in a similar SUV, indicated 060 of every 6.0 seconds in the quarter mile in 14.0 at 102 miles per hour so you could expect a Yukon Denali with the Callaway supercharger would get about a similar increasing speed times. 6 seconds to 64 6,000 pounds is something, man. Be that as it may, would it be able to experience a corner without pounding the external edges of its extremely costly 22-inch wheels? Indeed it can, and it did. Callaway brings down the ride tallness and expands the spring rates while keeping the GM Magnet or Heological dampers in place. In any case, that is not what you feel in a corner. A great deal of the vibe in the controlling reaction and body move control originates from bigger measurement anti-roll bars, said Build Pete Callaway, child of organization author Reeves. That is most likely more discernible than the springs. Braking, as well, was amazing considering how much work was equipped to deal with it. The brakes on Callaways are altogether fundamentally the same as, so your Yukon bundle brake pack looks a great deal like the Corvette stopping mechanism. Open 380mm rotors are set front and back, with 6-cylinder front and 4-cylinder raised calipers. How can everything feel? I took it for a drive up Angeles Crest Highway to the mystery bike haven of Newcombs Ranch, high above Los Angeles. Roadway 2 is stacked with wonders aimlessly, a great place to take a game bicycle or a game's auto. Be that as it may, a huge SUV? For what reason not? I hurled it into turns without fear and was quickly inspired with how Callaway had, in reality, controlled body roll. The gigantic behemoth did not tumble about. Its mass basically changed sides in a systematic manner, at that point the enormous 22s held tight through each turn. There was no screeching from the front tires asking for benevolence. It circumvented one corner at that point requested another. The brakes held up without descent, notwithstanding hard utilize. 
the stock brakes are most likely entirely heavy, as well, however the Callaway bundle includes another level of diesel for longer gulches like this and for pulling your huge ski pontoon down the Davis Dam grade. No brake cushion notices, no blur and no messing around. Speeding up, as well, was lively. Those distributed figures thump over a moment off distributed circumstances for a comparative GM full measure SUV in both 060 and the quarter mile. Once more, all finished with nothing smoking from in the engine and apparently no abatement and snappiness after some time, in spite of rehashed manhandle. It felt solid as far as possible up through the apparatuses, both off the line and in mid-range speeding up. It just so happens I had a Porsche Cayenne GTS that extremely same day, so when I was finished with the Callaway, I hopped in the Cayenne and drove appropriate go down that exceptionally same mountain street. Absolutely unreasonable correlation. The Cayenne is substantially littler, lighter and significantly more agile. Was that pitiless? Hell better believe it, yet life's not reasonable and I had a Porsche. In any case, this thing without a doubt merits a class win for execution by an excessively enormous steel box. Would it be advisable for you to drop transport your new Yukon Denali to Callaway and have them do this to it? Depends. The stock Yukon Denali from which this Testuta was manufactured stickered at $77,530. On the off chance that you can compose a watch that enormous, I'm speculating the bounds to our analyzer's $113,195 wouldn't be excessively gigantic. You can likewise buy only the parts you need rather than this completely stacked gunboat, which would cut the cost significantly. Furthermore, you can arrange your SC560 at your merchant and have them drop dispatch it to Callaway to have the work done. In the event that you do that, you can add the Callaway parts to the back arrangement, as though somebody of your stature ever funds anything. Ha! Huh. The Callaway is completely warranted for a long time 36,000 miles and can be warranted for up to 5 years 60,000 miles for $2,900 more, which sounds like a decent sure thing. For a ton of purchasers, that distinction of the Callaway stickers alone are justified regardless of a great deal, they don't offer the stickers independently if that is the thing that you would do. Also, having that little edge if the other waste talking sacker mothers are leaving the parking garage snappier than you, well, that is justified regardless of a hundred thousand in that spot. On sale, now. As tested price, $113,195. Powertrain, 6.2 liter supercharged V8, 10 speed auto, 4 WD. Yield, 560 horsepower, 553 pounds to foot. Check weight, a little more than 6,000 pounds. 0 to 60 miles per hour, 6.0, estate. Professionals, biggest, baddest bruiser in the Boy Scout carpool, 